Well, hello there, my friends. Today, we're joining me for another grip tape video. First one ever on the escapism skateboard, skateboards, skateboards. This is my own brand of skateboard. I'm extremely excited to introduce it to you for the first time in a video. I'm being a bit aggressive because I am overexcited. As you can see, this is the first ever graphic. We call this escapism series zero. To say that I'm proud of this is a complete and utter understatement. I already set up one. I'm setting up another with some fancy grip tape today. So let's get straight into it. So if you didn't know already, I've done many grip tape art videos in the past, usually in short form format, but today this is a special occasion and I've got some of the off-brand pieces that we've used for our previous videos and a bunch of white hexagons here so we don't have to do too much cutting out today. I'm only just going to talk, chill and go through our setting up this board with these. We're going to put hexagons at the bottom, we're going to put pyramids at the top, it's going to look amazing. Let's get this board out of this packaging and get to work. So obviously first things first with every grip tape video, you've got to get rid of that cellophane. Now, the boards all came pre-wrapped in this, and that's because we used one of the best manufacturers there is for skateboards. We basically took the shape of a hockey board, which if you didn't know, Hockey FA, super luxury board brands, costing like 90 to 100 pound per deck here in the UK and in Europe. Bear in mind, that's just the deck. No trucks, no wheels included. And we took that shape and we replicated it on this bad boy. And guess what? This is only 54 pounds. So we've almost halved the price of what the luxury boards are, and the quality quality is just as good, if not far better, because look at that paint job, she's slick. We're gonna be making this look even more fantastic than it already does. I've got most of my grip already cut, but I've got another sheet because we're gonna to have to do a little bit of DIY today, and I've got the employment of the wonderful Holly behind the camera. Can we get a hello? Hello. She's currently wearing a sun visor because she's got a headache and there's a lot of bright lights in here. So condolences to Holes in the comments. Let's get to the cutting of this grip tape. All right, so for those of you that don't know, Holes is the DIY god. Anything that requires some precision cutting or artistic technique, that is her domain. Anything that requires physical activity, that's my domain. <laughs> Holly's gonna do most of this, make sure that these are cut out completely fine because these ones before were also cut out by me and Holly. But she... Some of them are a bit questionable. So some of them are a bit questionable. You can count those ones up as mine. Holes is gonna make sure they're all done perfectly right this time because we need nothing but the best for the escapism deck, as I'm sure you guys are aware. Now, the reason why we actually have all these hexagons and stuff ready to cut out is because we've done a board like this before. That is this Misfits one. Now, don't take any attention to my cable management back there. We're just looking at the board. We've got Misfits X0 board here, one of my personal favorites. It has the hexagons in. Obviously, we cut up a white sheet as well to put the hexagons down the middle, but we didn't end up using hardly any of them in the end, so that's why we've got a bunch of white ones to put at the bottom of this one. And guess what? If you want this board, I'm gonna pick one random random commenter from this video to win this Misfit Zero board. And I'll sign it for you if you want to. Who do you think you are? Some big shot? Some hot shot? Well, I mean, this is probably worth about 50 quid, but of my signature, at least 250,000. And that's only today. Think about once we actually get to 100,000 subscribers. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And when you win the Olympics? Yeah, we're going to win the Olympics, hit 100k subs, and then this signed board will be worth a million. Got so few wishes. National Geographic will be hitting us up to put it in the museum. I don't know why a TV channel is going to be putting it in the museum, but you know. It's reserved for the Geneva Skate Museum. Holes here, as you can tell, has the extremely delicate hand for all the arts and crafts. And if you can't already tell, this video is going to be more of a chill, just setting up a board, having a little chat kind of vibe. So while Holes does that, I'm going to come around the side here. I see some footprints. <coughs> Pause. Tongue. There's a fat cat behind. Let's get her. Let's feature her in the video. She deserves it. Been extra fat recently. You deserve a spot in the video. She's really heavy at the moment as well. She is. This is Raven, for anyone that doesn't know. One of the best. She loves to sit on skateboards. She's the fan favourite. Because poor Willow. Bless her. She's just a bit too prone. Your other cat Willow isn't quite as confident as Raven. So I think that while Holes does the uh, the arts and craftsy bits of this board, I'm going to go ahead and tell you about the process of actually getting one of these boards made because it's been a bit of a mission, I can't lie. And it might be interesting to anyone that might want to do something like this in the future for themselves or even just get a gift of one of these boards for a friend because you can get one off, so it's a whole different board game. So I'll start with that first. Basically, Holes. Oh, gee, this is the OG board. So basically, if you did want to get a one-off board, say it was for a gift for someone you might know, a skater in your life that you love, this is a one-off board made by someone. This has the old Web Skateboards logo on it when I just used to use my own name for the company. Right now, we obviously use Escapism because I wanted it to be more inclusive and not just tied to my name as I feel like that's a bit too, bit too much. I want something more inclusive to the boys as well. So that's your one-off. You can reach out to someone on Instagram or like look online at Etsy. You can get these made by people that could just buy
buy a blank deck and paint on it for you. That's definitely the cheapest way to get a one-off made. If you was to do something like this that you wanted to sell an escapism board, now these things, they take a while to get because we didn't want to just go with the first manufacturer slash distributor that we could get. We wanted to hunt around and make sure we had the best quality because there'd be nothing worse to me than ordering these boards, spending all this time and effort getting them sorted out and then coming and then not being as good a quality as I would want because obviously I'm skating every day. I want to skate my own board, which I'm going to be skating all the time because these are phenomenal. The quality is so high on these that yeah, I'm a little bit biased, but we took the details from a very expensive shape for a reason so we could make it cheaper for the general population. So basically these boards we had to go to a distributor called HLC. They do mostly all of the pro brands in this region. The actual process of getting this board through and getting through to them was actually a bit of a mission. It took us at least three months of back and forth emails, had to download certain programs to make sure the files were all correct. A lot of boring stuff that you don't need to know about in this video. Basically, this board took a while and to see it here in person, it makes me so proud to say that we actually have this company, Escapism. From now on, we're gonna try to do a different graphic every two months or so, so it gives us about two weeks to sell the boards between each batch, which I think is more than enough. By the time you see this video, these will likely all be sold out. If not, there'll be a link in the description for where you can find one. But anyway, I've talked too much in this section, so let's get back to the art. Also, while Holly's doing that, rate the tree, the leaning tower of trees. Are... I need to repot that. It's falling. It is falling. All right, phase one is complete. Now all we have to do is cut the, the triangles out. Which is a long process. Which is a long and boring process, so fast forward to them all being cut out and let's grip this bad boy up. Now that Holly has expertly crafted these pieces from the sheet of grip tape we had spare, as you can see, this is the potential plan right here. We're gonna be moving these slightly further up because obviously you can't quite rest them down on the nose and tail, so this is gonna be pushed up a bit. We're gonna stick them all down in just a moment and we've got the white hexagons for the tail. This is gonna look insane, so I cannot wait. Let's get into it. So to start us off, I think I'm gonna peel this piece here and make it ground zero. And there we go, the first piece of grip tape art on the escape of skate. Epic gamer moment, Shredders. Right, I'm gonna begin on the hexagons at the bottom. Holly's gonna start with the diamonds, diamonds, the, the pyramids at the top. You don't know your shape. The half diamonds. No, I'm trying to peel. We um, can't peel it either. Stuff off. Even with long nails like I've got, it's really hard. Your breath smells like pretty. This is gonna look sad. Okay, so extremely messy table aside, as you can see here, we've managed to get everything perfectly done. For the main bit, you can use all your normal size triangles that you cut out, but for the sides, you're gonna have to cut up some of the offcuts. If you get any bits where you maybe didn't get the corners or sides slightly straight enough, use those bits to cut into smaller pieces to put on the sides to cover these gaps. The hexagons are a great example of the fact that if you ever do something like this, make sure you keep all your spare pieces for a future job, because like I said at the start, we had these from a different board that is now a giveaway in this video and now they're making a home on this one so never put a piece to waste now it's time to cut this bad boy out which is by far going to be the most satisfying part let's get straight to it so normally for this section you would use a file to get down these sides but for me my file was stolen the last time we hosted a skate jam so we're going to use the scissors today for this one you don't want to do the classic because you'll end up pulling some of the pieces off at the sides just do it like this a little bit at a time until you've gone all the way around. As you can see, we've then done that. A little outline mark on all the pieces to get them hopefully cut off nicely. This is the best chance of getting a nice smooth cut. Let's see. This is terrible. That's the bit that does make it a bit harder, having all these bits come off as you go through it. Obviously, when you do a normal grip sheet, you can normally get it all off in one big circle. But this, not quite as easy. And the finished product is incredible. I love this board more than you can imagine. If you want to get one, link's in the description. 